this. Hi, my name is Jennifer Valines. I'm the Director of Student and Staff Services here at Coppell ISD. And I'm going to be talking to you a little bit about ethics. Part of our core values here in Coppell ISD is to build authentic relationships. And one piece of that process is learning to work together, learning um, parameters and processes to work together, and to really foster the expectations for all students and all staff, and to pr provide procedures and put those procedures in place that are proactive for each and every interaction that we have. Each stakeholder brings an opportunity to build trust while we commit to working cohesively as a team to support the students and the staff we serve here in the district. And part of that pro process is to be proactive and to work together through some modules we've created for staff. The Texas educator shall comply with standard practices and ethical conduct towards students, professional colleagues, school officials, parents, and members of the community, and shall safeguard academic freedom. Part of that process is laid out in our Educator's Code of Ethics. You can find a complete list of the Educator Code of Ethics online at our district website under policy DH Local, and it's the exhibit. So DH Exhibit. Hey everybody, my name is Adam Bennett and I am one of the members of the Communications and Community Engagement Team. There are four people in the district that have been tasked with getting the information of ethics out to all of our staff members in the district. That is myself, Jennifer Valines, who is the Director of Student and Staff Services, Kelly Myers, who is the Executive Director of Human Resources, and then Rochelle Williams, who is the Counselor at Victory Place at Capel. We are the trainees for six different modules that we share with the district. So let's talk about what ethics actually means. So ethics is a system of moral principles. We want to develop a culture of ethics on each of our campus. So how do we do that? So one thing is we, we do this training and five different modules after this training to each staff member. In doing this, we are being proactive instead of reactive. We are setting strict rules on zero tolerance in the district. We wanna make sure that people are being held accountable and that we give all of our staff members the ability to see something and say something that they know if they see something that they can go to an administrator. So we need to make sure that we are all held responsible for ethical culture on our campus and for um, positive ethical behaviors, but it is the role of the administrators to create, to foster, and then to maintain this culture of ethics on each campus. So one of the first things is we need to make sure that our administrators, which we know they are, they are incredible role models. They have to make sure that they are setting the good examples in the district. When you think of the concept of leadership, you think of two different things. You think of providing direction and uh, exercising influence. And these are being role models. We often see the influence in instructional areas, but can we see the influence in ethical areas? Leaders can provide direction and exercise influence in these areas of appropriate and inappropriate behaviors. The culture at our school is part of our brand. Just like the CISD logo, which is our brand, so is ethical culture. That is part of the Coppell ISD brand. We want people to look at our district and to know you know what, I do want my child to go there, or I do want to go work there because they have absolutely zero tolerance for unethical behavior. If ethics is not important to our administration, then how do we expect it to be important to our staff? So we need to remember to walk the walk and not just talk the talk. So prevention, this is um, considered part of prevention. We are letting you guys know exactly what we share with our staff members. 
So we ask our staff members to make sure that they know what the policies and procedures are and to know what we expect from them as an administration. Some of these different areas are we want to make sure that we are building appropriate relationships with our students. We want to make sure that when we post on social media that it is appropriate. We want to make sure that when we act outside of work environments, we want to make sure that we are representing Capel ISD in a professional manner. And then we want to have our staff realize and know that it is okay to tell an administrator when they see something inappropriate because we all need to be held accountable. Another way that we prevent these types of practices is we are very transparent here in the district. The district permits teachers and other approved employees to use electronic communications with students within the scope of their professional responsibilities. And these are described in our guidelines. For example, a teacher may create a social networking page for his or her class to relay information regarding classwork, homework, or a test. A parent is welcome to such a page. However, text messages sent to an individual student are only allowed if the district employee with responsibility for an extracurricular activity must communicate with the student participating in that activity. The employee is required to obtain written permis permission from the parent to text their child, and it shall include the student's parent as a recipient on all text messages. Remember, communication cannot occur between the hours of 11 o'clock p.m. and 5 o'clock a.m. absent extenuating circumstances and approval from the employee's immediate supervisor and the student's parents. Just to recap everything about our prevention practices, we ask our staff to familiarize themselves with all of the policies and procedures. We give all of these different trainings about ethics. We are transparent and open and we communicate often with our families and our stakeholders here in the district. We have to make sure that we are aware um, and we need to be aware of any bias in the district. We need to always pay attention. We need to always know that it's okay if we see something, we say something. And then we need to educate our students and our parents like we are in this this session of Lunch Bites. Ethics is everyone's responsibility. If you see something, you say something. This is just one of the ethics modules that we go over with our teachers. There are several others. We do a sexual harassment module with all of our staff. We do educator-student interaction. This includes social media. We do a module called Student Discipline and Teacher Anger Management. Teachers as role models. Are you representing our district well? And then module five is Confronting and Reporting Borderline Behavior. So that just actually gives specific steps for individuals to take if they see inappropriate behaviors. As you can see, here in Coppell ISD, we're committed to providing all of our stakeholders with the education, expectations, and processes to ensure that we're building authentic relationships with our student, staff, and community. So this is just a very small portion of what we teach our staff on ethics in our district. So now we are open to any of your questions. Just um, put them in on this thread, and there are people on standby right now um, ready and willing to answer.